We'll be studying some this morning in the book of Luke in the sixth chapter. We're going to start at the 20th verse, chapter 6. What I'd like to say this morning as I was we were singing that song, Well Done, My Child. What a wonderful thing it's going to be when we stand before the Lord and He says, Well done, my child. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's something this morning that we should uh, think about. And that should be that should be on our mind a lot because it's it's not long if we live to be a real old person till we'll stand before the Lord. Right. And uh, hear that well done, my child. And uh, <laughs> can you imagine all the hallelujah and honor and scorn and be uh, Amen. Uh, and so it's 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 a good thought this morning to think about that. And as I was singing that song, I, I got such a blessing out of it. And so uh, hopefully this will encourage you, uh, our lesson encourage you some to uh, think on these these songs and find that we play that we sing. So in Luke six, in chapter six, verse twenty, and he lifted this Jesus said, and he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, "Blessed be ye poor." For yours is the kingdom of for yours is the kingdom of God. Amen. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. And blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Now it sounds like to me this morning that love for us, even though we have rough times and problems on top of problems. We're having a good time anyway, because mm -hmm. if we can, if we can do, uh, if we can be uh, uh, close to the Lord enough, and even though we be poor in the worldly things that we have, or whatever condition we have, as long as we've got the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, that's all. That's all. That's all that matters. Amen. Because, uh, uh, these other things are waiting for us, and we don't have to worry about. Uh, being uh, to the point that, or that we can't survive because the Lord Jesus Christ is always with us and he, uh, he hears our prayers. Be, be, be faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ and, and pray and talk to him and, and tell him your needs because that's what he, he gets his joy and his glory out of when you, when you praise him. You glorify Amen. him and God the Father. So remember these signs when you uh, think of this, this, these right here, when you say, when you see this, blessed are you that hunger. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people in this world that they just hunger to the point that they're, uh, they're, they're dying. Well, a lot of people are hungry because they don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. And either that, that hunger goes more than this. Uh, biscuits and taters. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a, a love for the Lord Jesus Christ and, and knowing him as your Savior. And so here he says, you're blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. So any and poor, poor in this world don't mean anything to what you'll have when you leave this world. Amen. Now it says here in verse 2, blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye Ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. And then in verse 22, it says, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. And you know, this, this we'll see just a little bit in just a few minutes, but this here, where it says that uh, cast out your name as evil, these these people that do this uh, are a false religion, thinking that they got everything that they need for for salvation, and they're criticizing those that are God's children. And this is what this is all about. They they will criticize you and me for 
coming down here and believing like we believe, and they will go to a place and believe that hell's an ice house if you if that's if it's taught to them. So this is this is what we're we're having to, to and a lot of times I know people don't come up to you and, and just bore you out and all because of it. But listen, they think it and they talk about it to others right. and all of this. And so he said here, uh, he, he here, blessed are ye when men shall hate you. Now that sounds like a, a, a lost Christian. Uh, it sounds like a lost person. And when they shall separate you from their company, won't have anything to do with you, won't, won't uh, 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 have uh, any love for you, wouldn't have you for nothing. And he says, they will, they, and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. I want to look this morning, if you would, with me in Isaiah. 55 for just a moment here and I will read something to you Isaiah 55 1 Isaiah 55 1 <clears throat> Ho everyone that thirsteth come to the water Amen. and he that hath no money that's the poor come ye buy and eat Ye come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Now, the thing that he's talking about here is, is those that have not uh, got salvation, have not been saved. You can come to the Lord Jesus Christ, and you can you can get this without money or uh, anything. It, it's not like going out here and buying a gallon of milk, but it's just the the, the thing of asking the Lord for forgiveness of sin and this is what he's talking about here when you're thirsty or when you have no money or when you want to buy wine and milk without money and without price so he says wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which satisfieth not hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in fatness. And the and in and, and, and these things that he's at, he's talking to you about, or I, Isaiah was speaking about, is the things that God has to offer us uh, that will serve Him. Amen. This is what he's saying here when he says, "Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread?" And so what we do is we this bread that he's talking about here is worldly. But the thing of it is, that which is free is from God, and that's what we need to depend upon more than uh, anything else. And he says, and your labor for that which, is, which satisfies not. And the, the labor out here that we want here and work and work and work, it don't satisfy the soul. Yeah. It satisfies the pocketbook a little bit, but it don't satisfy the soul. But this is something we, we need to know and think about as we go about this world and as we try to do the things that are pleasing to the Lord. We need to put our minds upon the things of Him and the things that He gives us and the things that He's promised us. That's what we need to think about instead of uh, putting our mind always on the dollar and on the, what we can gain for. Our right. Life. So here He says again, in verse 3, incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And so these are the, this is the promise that God has made uh, to us that he would make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And then he says, Behold, I have given. I have given, I, behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and a nation that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Amen. And he says in verse 6, and we'll, we'll go back to our lesson, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Amen. Uh, now we'll, 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 we'll go back to our lesson this morning. And uh, in, in verse uh, uh, 23, uh, 623, Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. 
For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. And of course, Amen. really, I mean, uh, Christians can be rich. Uh, and he's, he, he's not saying that, but he's saying this, woe to you that, that worship your, your wealth. Mm -hmm. And uh, have no have no need of the Lord, and that's what uh, I, that's how we need to separate uh, the wealth from uh, uh, what we have. But he says again, twenty five. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Now this this one word explains what he's saying here when he says woe. That means uh, look look out, be be uh, be aware. Uh, this is a bad this is a bad thing because he says woe unto you that that are rich, for you have received your consolation. Mm -hmm. And so this morning. Uh, uh, it still boils down to the fact that if we if we worship the worldly things, uh, we cannot be pleasing to the Lord. Uh, we put we put Him first in our life, and He takes care of our needs. And when we get anything that gives us a little extra to spend, we we say thank you, Lord, because that's where it comes from. Amen. It's not what this old flesh can make, but it's what the, 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 what the Lord Jesus Christ and God gives us. And so we need to, this morning, as we uh, uh, live our life, think upon this when we get a blessing. And, mm -hmm. and listen, we, He gives us blessings all the time, and we we're standing in a blessing this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're, we're speaking to a blessing this morning because this is this is God's house and this is God's people and it's a blessing that we as God's people can come together and, and fellowship with one another and talk about uh, what we have and what we need and 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 talk to the Lord about it because Amen. it's a blessing and so we we fail so many times to see uh, uh, what what blessings we have and uh, you know, uh, as I was talking about the, those little girl, children that are sick in the hospital. Listen, we've had them here in our church, people that were so sick, and Lord, the Lord just stepped down and took hold and healed them bodies. And, Amen. And, and, and you, you just can't, you can't, you can't stop praising me because there's no amount of money if you had all that was in Fort Knox and the gold that will can buy something like that. It just will not take it. Amen. So this morning, uh, be be thankful for what you've got and be thankful for what the Lord's doing to doing for you. And when when the devil tries to come and hinder you, well, you know it because the Holy Spirit of God is in you that are saved. And he'll warn you of these things. And, and listen, a lot of people don't understand that the Holy Spirit dwells within us, but he does dwell within us because uh, he is the one that speaks to our souls and, 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 and helps us to say and do the things that is pleasing to the Lord. And so this morning when, when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, don't push it away and don't 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 let it, the devil say, "Oh, that's not right." That's but listen, you 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 take notice to that, and I will tell you what, you're going to find that you're going to be a whole lot happier. Amen. Before the day's over, you'll be happy because the devil wants to uh, betray you. He wants to uh, make you do something that will displease the Lord. And for that he can uh, sit back and laugh about it, and, mm -hmm. and, and and the Lord, the Lord will have to, sometimes has to chastise us for for falling for these things. But be careful mm -hmm. because the devil is out there as a roaring lion. The Bible said that he's there to to hinder you and to cause you to do the things that you shouldn't do. I want to read another uh, verse or two here in First Peter. I want to I want to turn to three. First Peter three, I believe it is. 
1 Peter 3, 14. Yeah. It says, but and if you suffer for righteous sake, happy are you, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. And this is, this is what this is some some of the things that I've been trying to get across this morning about <clears throat> suffering for righteousness. Now that's 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 something that we need to be thankful that we can do because it's pleasing to the Lord Jesus Christ for us to suffer mm -hmm. because that uh, righteous, the, and, 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 and righteousness is what makes him happy. And so he says, <clears throat> and if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled, but sanctify the Lord God in your heart and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you, that is in you with meekness and fear. Amen. And so, <clears throat> this is this again. This again is something. This morning, uh, when you he says here that you can give an answer to uh, that person uh, uh, that asks you, be careful. Be careful of that because listen, <laughs> Satan ain't going off somewhere. He's right there. Mm -hmm. And this he can use this person to hinder you if you don't know how to answer that person. Because listen, and that's why the Bible says to study to show yourself approved, rightly divided in the scripture. But I thought about this a lot of times, you know, when you have the opportunity to be a witness to someone and you realize that they're a lost person, be careful because this person here uh, is led by the devil mm -hmm. and the devil can put something into his soul and uh, cause him to ask you something that will, will might get you in, in trouble because you might say something wrong to this person. So here he says, uh, and I want to read just a little bit more and I'll, I'll, I'll turn back. In verse 16, it says, Have a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as, a, as the of evildoer, <clears throat> that they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your, your good conversation in Christ. For it is better if the will of God be so that you suffer for well doing than for evil doing. And so if we can, if we can do it, if we can answer, if we can uh, do the thing that's, that, that we know is right when we talk to these people that are lost, that's good. Mm -hmm. But be careful. So I, I mean, I want, I want to do it. I want to try to do it if I can. But listen, sometimes I have to keep my mouth a little bit tight because I get to think, well, if I say this or if I say that, or, you know, and I don't want to hinder nobody. So here's what he, that's why he said, for it's better if the will of God be so that you suffer for well-doing than for evil. Uh, so back in our lesson now, again, we want to get back to the 620, and we're going <clears> to <throat> read just a little bit more uh, in the verse uh, of Revelation 17, 6, uh, 7, 6. I want to read this a little bit there to you about concerning this lesson. And I hope, this, I hope something, some of this will help you some way other. But in Revelation 7, 6, <clears throat> I, 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 may, I, may, I may have marked that wrong. I'm, I'm sorry, because that don't look right. It, uh, it, let me look at uh, 17, 6. Just a minute, bear with me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making a good effort here, a, a good job this morning on this, but uh, I wanted to read, I wanted to read these notes that I had wrote, wrote down. I think I would see. 76. Seventeen six. 
Now I'm going to arm you through it. Arm you through it. Okay. I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus, and I saw her wondering for that admiration. And this is not this is not what I wanted to read. The I'm sorry, I, I, I'm in a boo boo somewhere or another. But anyway, uh, I want to get I want to get a little bit more of this in the in the twenty. I mean, yeah, in my lesson read. Uh, <clears throat> uh, in verse. Uh, 28, look back in 2028. 20, Bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. Amen. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take away thy coat also. And so these things that are, are, are seen so uh, Selfish, or they're so crazy for you letting people to do these things. But Jesus is telling them this because He did the same thing for you. Amen. He gave His life for you, and He says here, "Love your enemies." And He said on the cross and said, "Father, forgive them, for they know not what to do." Amen. They were His enemies. And he says, do good to them that hate you. And that's what Jesus did. He, he paid the penalty of death for those that would, uh, would be called. And he says, bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. And you know that Jesus was, was cursed. Jesus was used in, in such a way uh, as uh, when he was being crucified, such a, such a terrible thing. But he says, and to, in verse 29, to them that smite thee on the one cheek also, uh, offer also the other. And this is something that uh, we see a lot of times in using as an example. If he smites you on one cheek, turn the other. Well, they do it, they do it in a, in a joking way because uh, when they say that to you, they, ain't, uh, they don't mean for you to do it. They, they're just joking you say if if he smites you on one feet see they would say you hit him back but that's not what Jesus says here when he says if he smites him on one cheek turn the other that's that's the same thing that he did uh, for all of us Amen. Uh, when we when we uh, disobeyed him when we and still uh, when now even in our saved life uh, he does the same thing because mm -hmm. when we disobey him uh, by smiting him on the cheek or by disobeying him, then he's ready to forgive. Mm -hmm. and, and so he, he turns the other cheek. He, he forgives us. And so these are some of the things that I hope that maybe will get you to thinking. He says here uh, in verse 30, Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as he would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Amen. So, very good here when, in, in, in verse 30 here it says, when someone takes, uh, uh, give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And so when a person steals your stuff, uh, even if you know it, I mean, you're not to you're not to complain and and, and uh, uh, persecute him, but just let the Lord take care of it, mm -hmm. and, uh, and He's able to do it. And, and more than likely, when you see the end results of it, you'll have twice as much as He took. So uh, He's always He's always are able to uh, help us, and, and and so He says. Uh, and then, as you would that men should do to you, do you also unto them likewise? He said, mm -hmm. That's that's a, that's that's a great that's a great policy. That's a great that's a great thing to do because listen, uh, you can do it. You can do something for someone that helps them just as well as you can for something that hinders. Them. And that's something that we don't know what we need to do is to hinder someone by by doing this. So it says this in, in verse thirty two. <clears throat> For if you love them which love you, think, think, have ye, 
Let me read this again. For if you love them which love you, what thanks have you? For sinners also love those that love them. And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thanks have you? For sinners also do good. And if you lend to them of whom you have hope to receive, what thanks have you? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. And of course, what this is, is that these people are showing love towards one another with the, not expecting things back from them, even, right. even the sinners. And so he says, but love ye your enemies, do good, and lend hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and you shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Amen. And be therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. And so this is our lesson this morning. I know that it's not in a uh, uh, real clear message, but uh, there's some things that, that we've read here this morning that if we'll practice uh, and try to practice, mm -hmm. uh, you'll be blessed, uh, and and you'll see you'll see the blessing poured out on you uh, because God's word says this is what you need to do. And so I thank you this morning for uh, letting me stand here and uh, fill in for Jared. Uh, 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 I hope that Brother Jared has a lot. Brother Larry says he has a safe journey. Everything's all right with him. So thank you so much for your attention.